The Mid-America Gospel Music Association Lifetime Achievement Award is presented each year to the person or persons who have influenced the growth and promotion of Southern, country, and bluegrass gospel music. This award is designed to honor those who have dedicated a significant portion of their life to the field of gospel music, either as a singer, musician, songwriter, radio personality, or promoter. The general membership of MAGMA submits nominations of those within the industry who have been influential in their careers, and they are later voted on by the board of directors. We seek to honor both the local artist who has influenced and mentored the new generation of performers, as well as those from our region whose music has impacted the national gospel music industry. It is our pleasure to be able to honor those pioneers who have and still are representing the ministry of gospel music. child who let you in who knows without a doubt what you live inside a heart they can't take you out we are soldiers our first Mid america gospel music association and lifetime achievement award winner for 2013 is being presented to a gentleman who has become an inspiration to not only our association but to gospel music lovers across the midwest we are excited to be able to present this award to a true gospel music warrior who has overcome many obstacles to serve the Lord and sing gospel music all across the Midwest. It is with great pride that we present tonight's award to Randy Barron. Working in a place where the boss man and the government say they can't share their faith. Hey, they know all too well they'll lose their job if they get caught. But to win a soul to Jesus, hey, they will risk it all. We are soldiers. Randy Barron was born on December 2nd, 1958 in Bonterre, Missouri, to Virgil and Marie Barron. He has one brother, Rick. Randy has been a resident of Potosi his entire life, and as a boy was very athletic, playing football among other sports. His passion as a young man was motorcycle racing, but on Christmas Eve 1976, Randy's life changed forever when he was involved in a serious car accident that left him paralyzed. After several months in the hospital, Randy found himself looking to the Lord for answers. During this time, he made a decision to commit his life fully to Christ, and his moving testimony over the years has been an inspiration to many. To watch a man of integrity like Randy never complain and never quit, and just keep on singing has been an inspiration to me, stated Magma board member Kevin Womble. Randy has a heart for people, and I've always admired him for it. After months of rehab in Columbia, Missouri, Randy went back to college to become a computer programmer and found work with the Agricultural Department in Kansas City. After three years, he started a new job with the IRS in St. Louis, where he commuted back and forth for 18 years before retiring from that position a few years ago. I've often heard makes the heart grow fonder If that's so I guess I must be near the end Lately I've had a feeling of being homesick And wanting to see Jesus again 
Randy's love for country gospel music led him to start his first group in 1978, the Randy Barron Singers. In 1990, the group would change their name to Heartfelt, and led by Randy's strong baritone, today continue a ministry that has seen them travel on a regular basis across the Midwest. Randy has been blessed to have many wonderful people in the group through the years, including his lifelong friends Gary Dean and Bob Marler. Gary sang with the group for 30 years, and Bob is well on his way to matching Gary's mark of longevity. Other notable Heartfelt members through the years have been David Price, Dennis Parmley, Ken Weaver, Rhonda Marler, Jeremy and Kathy Joe Marler, Brad Chapman, Nick French, and Jimmy Gillum, along with many others. Randy has always made it a priority to keep a live band, which is increasingly difficult to do in this day and age. When one band member would leave, Randy would seemingly always have another one lined up and ready to go. It speaks volumes to Randy's character and the kind of individual he is that so many local musicians wanted to be a part of the group. The group under Randy's leadership has made nine recordings to date and in 2013 celebrates 35 years in gospel music, a great milestone for any gospel group. I'm weak and feel so weary And I stumble on the pathway And I need someone to help me carry on Then I hear old Satan whisper Your God is gone, you must surrender Still I hear In the late 1990s, Randy would partner with Brad Akers to form Gateway Productions, and for several years they were the primary Southern Gospel promoters in the Lead Belt Parkland area, bringing in many of the nation's top groups to places such as the Plummer Theater, the Merrimack Music Theater, and North County High School, using regional groups as opening acts. They would also represent several groups, helping them with scheduling. Randy is a charter board member of the Mid-America Gospel Music Association and has served two years as vice president and five years as president. His leadership has made a major impact on the growth of the association and is a major reason that the association has continued to gain national attention. On October 23, 2004, Randy married the love of his life, Debbie Probst, and on February 14th of 2007, she presented him with a special Valentine's Day gift, their beautiful daughter, Hannah. Randy loves to spend time with his girls and is a great family man. Randy has made it his life's mission to winning souls for the Lord through his singing ministry of Heartfelt. He is loved and admired by all who know him. Please join the Magma Board and membership as we honor one of our own, Randy Barron. commandments off the schoolhouse walls they say it's a crime to even pray within the halls but bless the child who lets you in who knows without a doubt what you live inside a heart they can't take you out we are so. 